Hey everyone, um, today I want to talk about, instead of uh, talking about my experiences and what changes I've gone through, I want to get into what my personal opinion is as to what is taking place and what the Mandela effect is to me. Um, basically, it's a little bit overly complicated, but I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. Um, so you probably heard before that the universe and reality operates in layers, like the layers of a fabric. I personally like to look at it as like a layer, layers of skin. You have, you know, the epidermis, dermis, and the lower structures. And um, it basically, those layers represent, you know, different dimensions, higher and lower dimensions, if you want to look at it that way. Um, and actually, generally speaking, I, I like to look at what we think of as God as operating like a body with a different um, parts of the body let's just say a human body kind of different facets of consciousness um kind of expressing itself through different parts of this body whether it be an expression of the heart whether it be an expression of the brain whether it be an expression of the hands like there's different elements and they're all tuned to their own unique frequency, just like every person is tuned to their own unique frequency and their own signature. And it's a harmony, it's a tone, it's music. The, the entire universe operates like a musical symphony. And um, God uh, expresses himself through this uh, symphony through different layers. Um, and I like to think of the universe, the multiverse rather, as kind of mirroring the body in that, for example, you have a solar system. A solar system is like an atom, you know, with a nucleus being the sun and the planets being electrons and protons going around the sun. And then it branches out further. You have the galaxy the galaxy is like, you know, a, my, a mitochondria or like it represents a DNA, a DNA type of that certain, um, of that certain uh, area of a cell. And the cell itself is, it represents a universe. And there are countless cells and the cells are always regenerating and just like the universes are always regenerating, creating and destroying one another and uh, replicating. So it operates like a body, but not, not wanting to get into that all that much. What I think is going on here <coughs> is that I think um, our current a layer of we, how we perceive the universe is breaking down. So we're, we're literally breaking down like on a molecular level and on as to this dimension. Let's just, for the sake of argument, call it the third dimension. And um, on a structural level, it's breaking down, which would include our sun. Our sun, is, uh, as we know it, is quite literally dying. And, um, and that light is quite literally breaking down the structure of how we perceive matter here. So um, what we call the elites or whoever, what they've done is that um, probably with the help of extraterrestrials, I mean, who the hell knows, they built a, a machine in order to kind of extract information I like to look at it as like a hypercube and, and I kind of see it as like a hall, like a hall of mirrors and it's like projecting, it's like refracting light from other dimensions of earth and other universes 
and superimposing it back onto our own in order to maintain the structural integrity of the matter that we're experiencing. So perhaps that's the reason why everything looks kind of fake and kind of phony and kind of synthetic is because it's, it's just taking a picture, a snapshot of another realm and sometimes the side effects of that are the Mandela effect or what we think of as the Mandela effect and that it actually changes it changes it bends time and it changes how things evolved here so kind of um, retroactively it's it's hard to explain and so the sort of like a hypercube is um it's located it's it's kind of um how do i say it it's it's a self-containment it's like a containment system so let's say like the reality that we're in is run on outdated software and um the computer is old it's windows 98 and um the the software is about to be obsolete and we're going to be upgraded to an entirely new operating system, an entirely new computer. But the elites are doing their best to maintain Windows 98. And they're trying to superimpose other fragments of reality onto our own dimension to keep the old software running. But it always leads to a dead end. Um, there's, it's basically impossible to continue and the structural breakdown of our reality is going to occur no matter what I believe and um, um, after what we think of as our sun dies we will have a new sun and a new earth like they say how long that takes and how long that looks like I, I don't have a clue nobody knows but um we're not going to be in this layer of skin of the universe that we know of anymore. It's going to be a new paradigm, a new idea, and, 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 and a new molecular structure altogether, a new light. So no matter what machine they build, whether it's a quantum computer, whether it's CERN, and whether it's aliens, they're not going to be able to maintain the structural integrity of this system this reality it's gonna fail and that's kind of one idea of what i think could possibly cause the mandela effect it's literally technology it's literally a machine extracting information from other realms to superimpose onto our own to continue the integrity and to continue the structure of this reality and they also reset it. I think they reset it every so often. Um, how this occurs, I don't know how it looks like, but they have to reset it. Otherwise, it's going to continue breaking down even faster. So basically, they're slowing down the process of our ascension into a new dimension, into the new earth. They're doing their best to slow it down as much as possible with this hypercube containment system um, that's all i wanted to say uh, just some thoughts i don't think any of us really know what's going on but it's always good to dwell upon ideas and um that's one of my ideas thank you